It looked, quite frankly, scary. Suddenly, in just one day, more than 15,000 newly confirmed cases of novel coronavirus, or COVID-19, and 254 deaths. Even the World Health Organization seemed taken by surprise. But it was, we were told, a change in diagnosis. Doctors in Hubei province can now confirm a case with lung imaging, rather than having to wait days for lab results. This allows uh, clinicians to move and report cases more quickly, not having to wait for lab confirmation, ensuring that people get to clinical care uh, more quickly, um, and also allows public health responses in terms of contact tracing and other important public health measures to be initiated. Whatever the true scale, and many have said it's far larger than the official figures show, they are battling to contain it here, at its heart in Wuhan and Hubei province. More soldiers have been sent in. The crisis is unabated. We are well prepared to work in the place with the harshest conditions. We can surely win the battle. This picture widely shared on social media shows one apartment block in Hubei province being sealed off. <laughs> While today, wartime measures, barring residents from leaving their apartments without permission, were introduced in another Hubei district. The international toll remains low, 447 reports from 24 other countries and two deaths. Nearly half of those confirmed cases are from the Diamond Princess, docked off Yokohama, now officially the biggest cluster of COVID-19 outside China. Interesting for scientists, a nightmare for the passengers and crew. They are still in quarantine. But today in the Wirral, the Brits evacuated from Wuhan were finally set free after 14 days, heading home or to the pub. Well, the weather is absolutely magnificent. Some good fresh air and uh, uh, very, very, very happy that uh, obviously all 83 of us have tested negative for the virus. Nine cases have been confirmed in England. The most recent, a woman who contracted the virus in China. She arrived at Lewisham Hospital in South London in an Uber taxi, contrary to official advice to stay at home and ring 111 if you feel ill. In the case in London yesterday, um, this person reported her infection very quickly. Um, and so in that particular case, she was isolated very fast. And so the risk to the public from that particular imported case is very low. So the key thing is how many contacts does that initial case and contacts of that, that initial case, how many contacts do those individuals have? Nevertheless, two hospital staff members are now in self-isolation. And Uber said, without a hint of irony, that out of an abundance of caution, they temporarily suspended the driver's account. Masks have become the potent symbol of this epidemic, despite the fact they offer little or no protection against the virus. But today, the British Dental Association warned of a chronic shortage. 50% of masks are made in China. Well, here in our practice, I probably go through at least 20 masks a day. Some dentists work in NHS practice, they're seeing over 30, 35 patients a day, and you're changing the mask every time. And now dentists have warned that they may have to down drills if they can't find more supplies. Victoria McDonald reporting. Now, the Chinese artist and dissident Ai Weiwei has had his share of clashes with the authorities in his home country over the years. His work has often highlighted the lack of openness in China and the impact that has had on ordinary people. I went to meet him in his studio in Berlin, where he told me that modern China is partly a creation of the West. Like today, we thought the West can keep feeding it for the past 30 years. You know, the best partner is to find a dictator to work for you because you produce anything that you cannot produce. Mm -hmm. And you, you can sacrifice all those rights. And you, do, you just have to close your eye and receive all those goods from abroad. So we in the West have fed this giant baby? Not only fed, it's a part of the West design to create this China. But now it's getting too big. We've created a monster. Yes, of course. This is a, 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 it's not something going to, you can get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. There was a, an assumption in the West that as China becomes richer, it would become more open and more liberal. That is clearly wrong, isn't it? I think that kind of thinking is only come from the people desperately want business from China. Communist party is just a one big 
mafia family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's no ideology. But what China is much dangerous because it's so flexible, so mm -hmm. practical. It, it moves like water. And uh, it's it also, like water. Yeah, also like the virus. Mm -hmm. You know, it changes its own. Uh, how do you call the virus when, once it... Uh, it mutates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the coronavirus. This is the, perhaps the biggest challenge for China, you know, in its, for modern China, perhaps since, you know, 1949. I think uh, the corona crisis or virus crisis is only reflects certain deep problem with China. You know, if we talk about death toll, as a few hundred people, like one jet, uh, hit the ground. Mm. But the, the earthquake it created a um, huge, hundred times more than that. The political earthquake. Yes, because people make people cl make clear again about how impossible to control a situation like this with no transparency and the no trust in that society. You know, the trust very often we're not talking about is the most important value and ingredients in a society. And China never established it. How do you think the coronavirus might change Chinese society? It's not very clear. It's not, you know, even people can feel very disappointed, sad, but you shouldn't forget this kind of situation happened not just first time. You know, 2003 with yeah, SARS, SARS yeah. which in many, many patterns it be behaved exactly the same. First, hide the information and never really let any foreign um, people or independent uh, research uh, to be involved. And also before that, uh, 2008, you have an earthquake and that 5,000 students disappeared. Yes, Till today, yeah. they don't give out the names. Yeah. You know, under 1989, there's a tank come to Tiananmen yeah. Square, yeah. and who knows how many people are dead. I mean, China taking this very calmly. You know, they're not nervous. They're not nervous. No. So although there's been an economic impact felt already, you know, the stock markets in Shanghai and Shenzhen yeah, are down. It's okay. You think this short-term stuff? It's short-term. They know every business will come back. You know, it come get back for a reason. They know who, who needs them, and uh, they also very carefully calculating situation. Do you think the West can survive in its competition with China as it is at the moment? Can it even win the argument against China? I, I think uh, they already lost the argument against China. They never really know China, and they, they always live under their own assumptions about China. But uh, the West can survive or cannot survive only because their own internal problem, you know, their so-called democracy or their own uh, situation in relating to freedom, personal mm -hmm. freedom or human rights. So finally, just where do you see yourself fitting in? You know, you've, you've left China, you obviously don't fit I'm, into China, you don't fit in here, you might not fit into Britain, where do you... No, I'm a misfit. You understand the words, misfit, yeah. huh? I'm, I'm, I was born as a misfit. So, I don't know. You know, I'm going to disappear soon, so nobody cares, so... Ai Weiwei, thank you very much. Thank you.